This is called From the Sky. And I can't prove that this was Charlie Hagee, which was a YouTuber and uh, a real saint. He was the real deal. Um, I can't prove this was from him, but I believe it was. And I think it's interesting because it describes how these asteroids coming, this person I believe to be Charlie Hagee, well, dreamed that these asteroids were intelligent um, which is interesting to me very interesting that they seem to have like a the big flying uh, thing that looks like a feces a big piece of feces up there in the sky seems to have intelligence um, you could see that uh, I don't know the name of it, but, I, but I'm going to go ahead and I, um, I I'll read this. From the sky, I had a dream today that troubled me. I've had many dreams in the past, and some of them I've told to people close to me, and others I've kept to myself not being prompted to share them, but meditated on them privily or ignored them discerning the source. Now, this isn't somebody you're going to see out there. This isn't somebody who posts to this and then tries to get monetary gain from it or tries to get recognition from it. It's just not. These are the people I take serious. They're, they're not trying to expose who they are or make a big name for themselves or make some money. Yeah. Um, so I take this serious. I think it's worth consideration. That's when it catches my attention, and that's when I pay attention. Just like God gives dreams and visions, Satan can also inspire dreams and visions. And they are usually contrary to God's word, wisdom, purpose, and nature, even sometimes imitating God by using scripture in the dream and misapplying its application to make you think God is speaking in order to mislead and deceive you. People do this also when teaching who are his agents. That old serpent is very crafty. If there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and giveth thee a sign or a wonder, and the sign or wonder come to pass, whereof he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods which thou hast not known, and let us serve them, thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. For the Lord your God proveth you. You hear that? He proves these people. He proves me. He proves, he proves these people, right? He proveth you to know whether ye love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Ye shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice and ye shall serve him and cleave unto him. Deuteronomy 13, 1 through 4. Now here's the dream. On 128.13, and Charlie would have been still alive back then, I had a dream that troubled me. I wasn't given the interpretation, so I don't know what it means. It was dark outside, me and about three other people whom I knew in the dream. Outside the dream, I cannot tell. We're at, we were outside looking up, observing the sky, and saw what appeared at first to be stars. But the more we watch these quote unquote stars, the more they started moving in a formation like what you would see in an air show, but slower. I remember just staring at them and telling the others that I wish I had my HD high definition cam with me to record them. I had a camera with me, but it wasn't HD and I knew I needed an HD camera to zoom in and capture them clearly because it was dark and they were high up and looked small with subtle flashing lights. But from where we were standing, they looked like stars. We watched and watched and these quote unquote stars watched and watched these quote unquote stars continue to arrange and move themselves in formation. And then I started to feel that these stars were watching us and performing for us. 
I started to wonder why the stars were moving like that and become nervous and quit watching them and wanted to get out of view of them. And before I could tell the others what I was feeling, we heard sounds like popping sounds, like small guns or something. What have we just heard from the news here lately? People are hearing all these strange sounds. And Jason A. just, I think recently, it was in his recent video or the one before it, is talking about these strange sounds people were hearing. The one guy even went so far as to say in this video of Jason A.'s, the strange sounds, that he said it sounded like war was being started. He, he thought war had started. I mean, that's what it sounded like, bombs going off, you know? These strange sounds, bombs going off, right? Let me go back to where I was. Okay, so we heard what sounded like light popping sounds, like small guns or something. And then we started to see what looked like pellets gently falling all over the ground, and then it started raining. It appeared that I was the only one who started to feel that we might be in some sort of danger. And after it started raining, we went back, we went to look for cover from the rain because we were in what seemed like an open field. And we were looking for trees and buildings and anything to shield us. And when we started running, I looked up and I noticed that these stars were following us. Now, I'm going to, after this, I hope to make a mental note and I hope the Holy Spirit will remind me. But I'm pretty sure that in the scripture that uh, these, these uh, evil entities, they're, they're called stars. Is it, that, is it that right? If I'm not mistaken, I, I believe this to be correct. I believe that this person who I be, that I believe is Charlie Hagee, I believe this dream. I believe it was it was a word from God. I absolutely do. It says we were we went looking for trees and buildings and anything to shield us. And when we started running, I looked up and noticed these stars were following us. Then the dream cut to us running in the rain trying to hide as it was becoming daybreak. And then came upon some then we came upon some main streets in a city. I don't know where we were at. Or doing but the city seemed familiar and out of nowhere we suddenly came under fire we started running again to take cover behind big trees and buildings and anything that was solid but the shots were coming from above us and the shots sounded close regardless where we went and since I knew the shots were coming from above us I believed it to be coming from those stars and that were following us and knew where we were at at all times. The others didn't understand this yet. Then all four of us stuck close by each other after ducking and trying to avoid being hit by the shots. Then I yelled to the others that were coming under fire from the sky. As we were running, I remember we came upon a house and hid on the side of it close to the window. From inside, a woman opened a window and asked what we were doing there. And I told her that we were coming under fire from the sky, and she didn't believe me and told us to leave from the, on the side of her house. And we left, continuing to dodge gunfire running. And the dream cut to me walking down a main street by myself in the broad daylight with no rain coming down, no gunfire near a market of stores. And as I started to go in one of the stores, I woke up. I didn't know what happened to the three people who were with me. I didn't see any of them get hit or killed. Now, I think that this dream has many avenues in it, and we'll see that. So he says, It's unclear to me what this means. Shooting stars? I don't know. I had a dream in 2000 where people were running scared in mayhem and chaos and trying to get away from something, and I didn't understand what that meant until I saw news clips on September 1st, 2001. I had only told one person that dream before that event. We never discussed that dream, I told her before we lost contact. I pray she's doing well. And he says right here, If the Holy Ghost gives me an interpretation, I'll post it. If he gives you an interpretation, Feel free to share it. God bless. And then called, he calls himself called right here, 
and then on June 2nd, 2013, at 3.54 p.m., he posted, and he must have been shown something about this because he posted an interpretation. And here's what he says. The stars are satellites and special aircraft, special aircraft. And the pellets are hail, H-A-I-L. And the rainstorm, the rainstorm is evil spirits sent to buffet and torment. The open field is the world stage. Those with me are brethren, and we are observing the behavior above us. After observing for a while, I started to discern that we were in harm's way, and in the presence of evil, and before I could warn those with me, we came under attack. When we suddenly came under fire, this was Satan wanting to silence God's messengers and go after and kill God's people. Now, isn't that interesting? Stars. And, and you see that satellites are involved and, and special aircraft. So we're talking wicked people with devils, basically. Oh, man. The woman in the window whose house we were on the side of who didn't believe me when I told her we were coming under fire from the sky and told us to go from the side of her house is society's rejection of God's word and the knowledge of his truth because they are under strong delusion. Me walking down the street alone after the storm and into the market of the stores is God delivering and bringing his people out of trouble. I'm telling you people, exodus, exodus, exodus of our days is happening. But it's a spiritual, it's a spiritual process right now. I, I, I can't even go into chapter 13 yet I, until it, it's like I read 12 and we're waiting for us to catch up a little bit, you know. And he says, the market of stores is God delivering and bringing his people out of trouble. And the market of stores is where his people are gathered together. I was alone because those who stuck close with me during the storm turned back. They do turn back. People know God and turn back. They, for many reasons, and did not continue on with me. And the scripture does say that, that those who are turning back, they were never with us in the first place, I guess. Many will run for a season. And, and we see that also in the parables of the, you know, when on the rocks where the soil is. Some of them have good soil and, and rich soil, and they grow deep roots, and some of them spring up really quick, and for a while they'll last until the storms come, but they don't have the root system, you know, and uh, yeah, and it says, unfortunately, some will fall away and won't finish the race. Be steadfast in the faith, saints. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. And I shall not be greatly moved. And that is Psalms 62 2. And I'm going to try actually to, uh, I'm going to put it, just put it in the link. I'm going to try to anyway. Just copy this. And um, I'm going to put that in a link down whenever I load this up. Now, next thing I'm going to look at is I'm going to see about these stars. What, what does the Bible say about these stars? Stars as demons in the Bible. Let's just put something like that and Google that. Um, well... How about stars as angels in scripture? How about I put that? See how that comes up. I don't know. Okay, right here. Let's see. Stars are angels in the King James Version Bible. So I was thinking this is right. So here we got Job 22, 12. Is not God in the height of heaven, and behold the height of the stars, how high they are, and the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in the heaven shall be shaken, 
Mark 13, 25. Genesis 19, 15. And when the morning arose, then the angels hasted Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife. Let me just see if I can find something that's really, really clear that, that it's saying that. Um, wow. Well, Let's see, well, in Genesis twenty two seventeen it says that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven, but that's not really what I'm looking for. Um, let's see, in Revelation 3, 1, we go down here, and the seven stars, these things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars, the seven stars, I know thy works, and that thou hast a name, that thou livest and art dead. Um, let's see. Right here it says in Psalms 148.3, Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise ye, praise him, all ye stars of light. So that's really not what I'm looking for. Um, yeah. But that, that would be something interesting to kind of look into. Because it seems like I remember, but I, yeah. But anyway, that was an interesting dream. And you think about this. I tell you, it looks like like this uh, new asteroid they, they keep on pointing to. And it looks like a big old long poop. You can't, you can't describe it any other way. And how would you describe Satan? Nothing but poop. The whole the hall of hell smells like a big sulfurous, gaseous uh, explosion. If you know what that is, uh, so why wouldn't he fly around an asteroid that looks like a big old poop? So anyway, this big old flying poop asteroid seems to have intelligence. You think about that. That's the stuff that's just crazy, but it's interesting. It's interesting to think on, and um, there's something about that dream. There really is, and uh, can't quite wrap my mind around it, but it's interesting. God bless you all.